What's up guys, welcome to Tech Breakdown, the series where all the leaks and the rumors of tech industries just got big into the single video. In this video, we got something about Xiaomi Mi UI 12, also Samsung A series are coming to the US and Huawei is working on a foldable device. Without any further ado, let's get started. All of the Chinese manufacturers make their UI compatible with China also. So their UI is going to be a lot of cluttered each and everything. We know that it is not nearer to stock Android or even they have so many uh, per bloatware in their application. So many stuffs are going on. But Xiaomi just launched the Mi UI yesterday and it is copy paste of the iOS and yes I mean copy paste I mean it it is significantly similar to the iOS 13.1 so in my thought does Xiaomi copy Apple or Apple copy Xiaomi so let me know in the comment section down below so we all know Samsung makes a wi wide range of variety of smartphones from $100 smartphones to even $2,000 smartphone. But in US, Samsung was not considering a smaller amount of devices. But after the iPhone SE launch and Pixel 4a, Samsung is adding up the Samsung A lineup into the US also. And which includes two phones, Samsung Galaxy A51 and A71 5G versions of that. And uh, when it comes, we know that uh, each and every user doesn't use uh, all of the high-end specification, very high-end camera. They just need a good smartphone which can call the emails and all the things which they can do for daily tasks. So Samsung is finally coming to US with the A series. And now after that, the budget oriented smartphones are very saturated right now because till now US doesn't have a lot of wide variety of range in budget smartphone. But after iPhone SE and Google Pixel, 3a 4a now each and every smartphone manufacturer wanted to enter the smartphone range in the us also so the burning hot news of today is about the old new huawei now huawei is working on the another generation of fold now we have seen huawei made xs and made x was the foldable device but it would out outward foldable devices but this time Huawei is working on inward foldable devices like we have seen with the Galaxy Fold. Now, in my personal preferences, it looks good. Now, inward and outward, I prefer inward fold like which we are having with the Galaxy Fold because when you are using a phone, you can use it and when you open it, it becomes a complete tablet. Number two is that it can give up a bit of protection to your inside display compared to the outward fold which if it falls, it is easily going to be dropped and the display is going to be damaged and it could replacement could cost a lot so i hope it is really good thing that each and every oems are going to do another thing which we're having is that it is going to use periscoping lens and now which we're seeing is just a cad renders it is not confirmed yet but at least finally we are having periscoping a good camera sensors because in galaxy fold 2 we are not having awesome camera setup but in made access or whatever they're gonna name it the successor of it the, it is going to have periscopic sensor but when it fold the, open it it is not having any selfie camera on it i think they are ditching selfie camera because of completely bezel-less aesthetic but it is not confirmed it is just cad rendered not even cad rendered it's just model 3d model rendered so i hope in the next generation when they launch the smartphone they were totally going to add the selfie camera into it but that's it for me guys thank you for watching this was the tech breakdown and i will catch you guys in the very next video peace out